Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And yes, you guessed it, we're talking about iOS 15 again. So iOS 15 has been released on beta one, of course, and it brings a ton of new features and changes. I know there are not like huge changes to iOS and that might be disappointing for some people, but yet there are some really, really useful features you will be able to find on iOS 15. So in this video, I will show you guys some hidden features, some amazing things that you can do on your iPhone running iOS 15 that you probably didn't even know about. Starting things off with the easiest way to get apps on your device. With iOS 15, you don't even need to open the app store. Just go ahead, go to the spotlight search and just search for any app that you want to install. And directly from here, you will be able to actually install that app on your device. So from here, if I go to the home screen, you can see it has started to download the app right away without even having to open the app store. In my opinion, one of the best features of iOS 15 is this one right here. You go to settings, go to Apple ID and go to find my phone. Make sure you have find my network enabled. Now this used to be there before even on iOS 14, but now with iOS 15, your device can be tracked even though it might be turned off. Of course, you need to have find my network turned on and that's a really, really big feature. Now, when you're basically turning off your device, you will get this message. You can see it says location visible after power off. This means that your device will still be able to be located even though it has been turned off. And that's an amazing feature to have on iOS. On iOS 15, you will be able to translate using the camera app, the default camera app of your iOS 15 device. So here I have a piece of paper. You can see once it recognizes that text, you can see right there where it does recognize it. You can tap here and it will basically select that text. And now all I gotta do is tap on translate. And you can see right here, it will actually translate. I can change the language right here to any other language I want. And of course, that will be translated to that language. And I can even go ahead and copy that translation from here. The drag and drop feature on iOS 15 is amazing. You can actually do a lot. You can basically drag any type of file you want. So if I'm here on the files app, I can just pick an image here and I can go ahead and drag that image and basically place it right here on one of the albums that I have saved on the camera roll of my device. Now, what's the cool thing about it is that here I have a screenshot. I can just go ahead and with the new live text, just basically copy anything I want here. I can copy this or I can just go ahead and drag this like this. And you can see, get out of there, go to notes. And here I can paste that into a new note. Just like that, drag any text you want, any like picture or maybe even a video or a file from different apps to different apps on iOS 15. I don't know why, but sometimes Apple seems to like just forget to add some really small touches to some of their features and they take actually months, even years to do that. Now on iOS 15, you can finally scrub on voice messages on the iMessage app. So you can see here's the voice message. I can play it here and of course I can go ahead and scrub on the message right here. Just a simple feature that Apple didn't add until iOS 15. Don't know why, but that is actually very, very useful. Now with iOS 15, bringing spatial audio to the Apple Music app, there are of course a ton of other apps that don't support it. Now with iOS 15, you will get basically a new feature called spatialized audio. So this actually allows you to turn on some like kind of like spatial audio for apps that don't actually support it. And you will find it right here, of course. Once you go to the volume, you will see the icon right there of the app that is playing the music and you can turn on or off spatialized audio directly from here. There are a ton of new features on the Safari app and there are some really cool ones that are actually hidden. Now, when you're on Safari, you have, of course, the address bar right here. You wanna create a new tab. All you gotta do is just when you're on the last one, just swipe like this and you can see it will actually create a new tab, which is very, very easy to do. You will have it at your finger right here and you can do that real quick. Now you will notice right here, we have the search bar and we have a little mic right there that now allows us to search on Safari actually using voice. So let's just try it out. NBA playoffs. 
it does work really really quick you can see how fast it has loaded that it is actually really good and of course very very useful when you're on safari it is very easy to refresh one of your pages now normally you might want to tap here and tap on reload that of course is a bit annoying all you have to do is just like pull down on the web page like this and it will actually reload that web page now you can see the address bar right here when to remove it all you got to do is just swipe it down like this and it will actually go here to the bottom you want to go back to it you just tap on it as easy as that so just like that as easy as that you can remove the address bar from the screen now you want to go to the tabs view of course what you got to do is tap here and go to the tabs view or what you can do is just pinch in like this and it will quickly take you to the tabs view an amazing feature added to ios 15 is the ability to now finally rearrange your home screen pages so you can see right here i have two of them and i can rearrange them as easy as that i don't know why apple didn't add this with ios 14 but this is very very useful one, in my opinion, one of the most useful features that you will see on iOS 15. And if you have a page disabled, then you can go ahead and actually remove that page completely from the home screen of your device. And this will take all the apps that are on that page automatically to the app library. Now, something that I'm not sure yet, what is it? Is it a bug or a feature? Is that you can have multiple icons of one app on your home screen on iOS 15. They have Twitter, go to the other page, I have Twitter there again. All you gotta do is just go to the app library and just drag the app and you will have as many icons as you want for the same app on the home screen of your iOS 15 device. When you go to your photos app and you have a picture of a person, if you swipe on it, it will basically show you all the details regarding that picture. It will also show you this like kind of header or whatever you want to call it right there on the picture. If you tap on it, you will be able to add a name for that person. You can show the album with all the pictures from that person or you can feature that person less. So anytime there's a person on or a face, whatever that is, on a picture, it will show you that tag right there. When using your AirPods from the control center, you can go to hearing and what you can do here is turn on background sounds. Just tap right there, it will turn them on and you can control its volume using the slider right here. You can see the percentage of volume and you can actually go ahead and change the background sounds. So you will have balanced noise, bright noise, dark noise, ocean, stream and rain as well. And you can pick from any of these. So that's basically it for this video guys these are some really cool things that you can do on your device running ios 15 that you probably don't know about thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more ios 15 videos and i will see you guys on the next one